obviously I trained with Mike Mensah, but coach, student, I didn't train with him. He was coaching, I was the student. One month after the 1992 Mr. Olympia, which according to all reports he won easily, Dorian was back in Gold's gym during a stop on an exhibition tour. Convinced that the abbreviated system had helped him gain more muscle and win the Mr. Olympia, he asked me for further advice on how he could continue with even greater progress for the 1993 Mr. Olympia. My advice to Dorian was delivered in the form of a challenge. I don't believe, Dorian, that, Dorian, that there has ever been a top bodybuilder that developed to the absolute upper limit allowed by his genetic potential. Why, Dorian? Because none, including myself, had ever fully understood or properly applied the general, the general theory of scientific bodybuilding exercise. If I had made one major mistake years ago while training for competition, it was that despite having been the arch advocate of lesser training, I was still overtraining, i.e. training too long and too frequently. While Arthur Jones contributed enormously to our knowledge with his general theory that exercise must be intense, brief, and infrequent, it is apparent to me now that he wasn't clear on practical application. He had issued what, in essence, was intended as a surefire prescription for everyone at all times, train the entire body three times a week. What I have come to understand much better over the last two years as a result of training and keeping records on over 200 individuals is just how demanding high-intensity training really is. I have come to understand that when an individual is training properly, i.e. training intensely enough to stimulate growth, and is neither training too long nor too frequently to prevent growth, that he should be witnessing progress, if not every single workout, then at least on a very regular basis. The question, Dorian, is how brief and infrequent should exercise be? I understand you pride yourself on being radical. Well, Dorian, be radical. <laughs> Break away, break away entirely from tradition and find out for yourself how little training is really required. He challenged me to, you know, think about my training more, maybe cut back on the volume a little bit more, which I did, so that was the most, like a learning experience. Arthur Jones, by the way, John, said years ago that we've been asking the wrong, wrong question all these years. The question should not have been how much exercise do we need, but how little do we require. Yeah, true, very true. Remember that one. Uh, and, and on here. So what if you find yourself, Dorian, spending only 12 to 15 minutes in the gym every five days? To hell with what others have thought or done. More muscle is what you're after. Set a new and higher standard of bodybuilding excellence. Become the first Mr. Olympia to improve dramatically on an already heavily muscled physique. Be the first to reach the upper limit allowed by his genetic potential. Well, I enjoyed, you know, Mike was my hero when I started. He's a thinker, he's yeah. an intelligent guy, and uh, I like to think, I like to think a lot, think things through as well, so we had that in common.